Hi there, I'm Chris Hernandez, and this is The Weekly Report, your look at news related to the programs and services provided by the departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. The city's health department is one of the first in the nation to receive accreditation and the very first in the four-state region of Missouri, Kansas, Iowa, and Nebraska. The department spent three years working on improvements and gathering documentation to earn this new distinction offered by the Public Health Accreditation Board. Congressman Emanuel Cleaver, Mayor Sly James, and other community leaders celebrated the grand opening of a business incubator in the city's urban core on Thursday, September 5th. Once a brownfield, this site at 50th and Prospect now houses a green, state-of-the-art building known as the Blue Hills Business and Contractor Incubator. The $3.3 million project was funded largely with federal grants and built with the help of small, local construction companies. The incubator will continue to work with these small businesses by providing additional training and support. The building also offers office and community meeting space. The city announces a new mortgage program to help residents buy homes in the urban core and other target areas. Called MORE for Missouri Reinvesting in Neighborhoods, the program offers a 30-year fixed mortgage rate of 4.5 percent for qualified home buyers with low to moderate incomes. Home buyers must purchase a home being offered for sale in targeted areas by either a nonprofit community organization or a governmental agency. Find out additional information at kcmo.org slash more or call 816-513-3034. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Kansas City Parks and Recreation. September is a great time to be outdoors and your city facilities offer a lot of activities to choose from this month. Art and music combine for a fun weekend, Friday through Sunday, September 13th to 15th, along Brush Creek. Stroll the newly completed four miles of walkways while classical musicians play and artists paint landscapes and cityscapes for a juried competition. On Sunday, from 3 to 8 p.m., local bands play reggae, folk, alternative, and Latin rock in Tice Park Amphitheater at Oak and 47th Streets. The concert is free. Bring lawn chairs and refreshments and enjoy. Is your family up for an adventure? If so, make plans to camp out Friday night, September 20th in Swope Park. The Parks and Recreation Department will supply basic camping equipment and organize hikes, food, music, archery, canoeing, fishing, and more. The program, called Wonders of Outdoor Wildlife, is $30 per family and limited to the first 100 people. Details are at wondersofwildlife.org or call 816-513-7657. A tennis open at Minor Park is scheduled for Friday, September 20th through Sunday, September 22nd. Each participant may compete in one singles and one doubles event. Entry fees are $14 for singles and $16 per team for doubles. To register, visit webtrack.kcmo.org. The Kansas City Rose Society will host its Wine and Roses fundraiser at Loose Park, just west of the plaza, on Thursday, September 26th, from 5.30 to 7 p.m. The gala includes live jazz and hors d'oeuvres in the Rose Garden. Tickets are $75 and must be purchased in advance at kansascityrosesociety.org. For more information about these and other events, see the Parks and Recreation website at kcparks.org or give us a call at 816-513-7500. Recently, many of the local media outlets ran with a story saying Kansas City ranks second in online prostitution. This study by Arizona State University covered 15 major cities and KC came in at number two behind Houston, Texas. However, the study was a bit skewed. Sergeant Brad Dumit explains. The study was flawed. Um, I think that you can make numbers basically tell anything that you want to for starters. Uh, and two, Kansas City is a city that's unique. Um, it's unique because of its size one. Um, it's, it's a lot bigger uh, landmass wise than other cities. Um, unlike uh, the smaller population of other cities such as New York, maybe Houston. Um, 
but also we also have just a one venue uh, you know whether it be the computer on on back page to go get your dates on whereas other places have a multitude of different venues to go get their dates from uh, Kansas City is kind of a one-stop shop they just looked at one of the venues on here and not all of them uh, in their totality so um, you know with that said uh, there could be the numbers could be astronomical in other cities that they didn't look at we do all all sorts of venues when it comes to prostitution and and it's also uh, street level prostitution organized prostitution um, and what I mean by that is organized prostitution would be uh, ads placed on the internet um, we also do uh, our own ads on the internet as a, as a means to try to catch uh, people doing things they shouldn't be doing. But when there are ads placed on the internet, uh, we, we also call those ads and, and go make arrests there. It's safe to say that when they do place an ad in there, they could be running into us on the ads or calling the ads, both. Um, meaning if somebody is calling an ad, they may be calling the police department. Um, and when they do, we set up sting operations, whether it be a hotel, an apartment, um, or we could even go to them as well, too. Obviously, seeing the ads that say 420 friendly, yeah, we'll work drugs into it as well, too. Um, you know, anything for sale for monetary value in, in exchange for sex is a prostitution act. So if they want to work uh, drugs into it, we'll be more than happy to take that charge away, too. A vice conviction can bring up to six months in jail and a $500 fine. Typically, the first offense will get a fine with probation, and they are required to go to John's school. KCPD processes around 25 vice arrests per month. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week. Looking ahead, everyone is invited to the Kansas City Green Fair at Islas Davis Park, just north of City Hall, on Thursday, September 19th. There will be two dozen exhibits, including farmers selling local produce and meat, plus five food trucks selling lunch. You can meet a character named Eco Elvis as he emcees an awards ceremony for the KC Green Neighborhood winners, and the day will end with a tour of the Urban Garden at 18th and Broadway. Visit 10 exhibit booths at the fair and enter a grand prize drawing. The event runs from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's free and open to the public. The park is between 10th and 11th Streets and Locust and Oak. For more information about this or any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.org. Just scroll down to the bottom right-hand corner and click on the Weekly Report. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.